Well, the regret basically is, I like to think about it this way here. I like to think about it as a person is crying. So we'll think about regret as being tears flowing down your eyes. It's not, that can be negative there, so we talk about regret. So what do we have to do? We have to set up another matrix. And what do you mean we'll set up the matrix that we have there? And this will be a regret matrix. Let me put a regret here. Again, we'll use bank. I'll abbreviate bank, stocks, uh, prosperity, and recession. This is an abbreviation for the uh, bank, stocks, prosperity, and uh, recession. Now, let's take a look at the matrix here. If we knew that prosperity was going to occur, what would be my best investment? My best investment would have been to put my money into stocks because this is the largest value in that column. So this I have absolutely no regret. No tears coming down your eyes. If you're a student, if you get an A, there's no regret, right? So therefore, notice here, the 20 is the largest value in the column. So this means you got no regret. Now, in this one here, have I put my money in the bank and that I knew that was going to occur, my regret would be the difference between what I could have made and what I did make. So therefore, the difference between what I could have made, which was 20, minus 4.1 would equal to 15.9. All right? Yeah, that's right. 15.9. Uh, so this basically says, these are units of my regret. These are tears flowing down my eyes. So therefore, if I put my money into, into if it was prosperity, and the, if I put my money into bonds, even though I made money, I still have 15.9 units of regret because this is how much more money I could have made. And here, if I put my money in the stocks, if I put, and it was prosperity, I couldn't have made any more money, so this was no regret. Okay? Now, supposing we look at the other item here. Supposing we look at recession. If I knew that a recession was coming about, let's say President Obama, whoever it is, if I knew this was coming about, what would be the best thing I could do here? Well, the best thing I could have done here between making four or losing 30 is to make four. Because then that's the best I could have done in that situation here. So it's no regret. However, this is care, be careful here. Here you say, not only did I not, here I made money. Here not only did I not make money, but I lost money. So the regret basically is, not only did you not make money, which you could have made uh, plus four, but you lost 30% of your money. So therefore, the difference is the absolute difference, which means you have 34 units of regret. Which means, in effect there, that I lost money, I could have made money there, so therefore, the absolute difference is 34. So this is, says, the amount of regret I have, it's, uh, you know, it's like, uh, uh, I, in my own case there, I had some stock that, uh, in a, in, a, in a company there, and the stock went down, I lost money on that, and then they declared a capital gains, and I had to pay income tax on stock I lost money on. That's regret. So basically, we have these four entries here, 15.9, 0, 0, and 34. Then you say, so what? What do I do now? You say, well, if I, you take a look at this and say, I don't like to cry. So if I don't like to cry, what's the greatest amount of tears I would have if I put my money into the bank? Between 15.9 and zero, the greatest number would be 15.9, okay? Between these two numbers. And here, between these two numbers, the greatest number, the difference between it, the largest number would be 34. So therefore, this says here, I got 15.9 tears flowing down my eyes, which is the maximum in the row. And here, the maximum of this row is 34. So I want the, I don't like to cry, so I want the minimum, notice here the word minimum, minimum value of the maxima, the maximum, sort of maxima, maxima. We'll abbreviate this as mini-max, mini-max. Okay, so in this case here, between the two, the minimum value would be this one here. So in this case here, with your regret matrix, we got, you put your money in the bank. So, so far, without doing anything great, we've come up here, there's no probabilities, we're still down here. We've come up in one case, the pessimist says, put your money in the bank. 
the optimist says, put your money into stocks with these values here that you have. Uh, put your money in the bank. And here, put your money in the bank. Now, is this indicative? You should put your money in the bank? They're probably, you know, it's just a question of the way the numbers come out. But basically, this is a way to evaluate how you feel about the environment. Okay? We'll cut it off at that point there. The next one will go into the mango case, which gets into the expected monetary value, and where we enter the area of risk or probability. Thank you.